under center. A give to Burkett. Runs it left for the win. Touchdown, Patriots. And they're bound for Super Bowl 53. There's precious time to celebrate winning an AFC championship. For the Patriots, experience tells them they're in a race to prepare for Super Bowl 53. It's a complicated matrix that includes planes, hotels, game tickets, and much more. 200 level? That's, it works perfect, then. That's amazing. And moving the entire football operations and their families to Atlanta. We're fortunate to have a great group of, of support staff that make this whole machine run. The equipment people, the trainers, biggest thing is just being having attention to detail and just relying on our team as a sports medicine staff um, with open lines of communication and just making sure that we put egos aside and make sure that we just uh, that we have everything there for the athletes to have some success in the field yeah that's fine um, that, yeah I'm, I'm with that. and we'll still have access to the room it takes quite a few people for us we have five physicians that travel with us we have 12 athletic trainers, we have a couple of physical therapists, we have some ART physicians, and we are very fortunate to be able to provide every service to them so that they can have the comforts of a normal home game. Our video staff, nutrition. Uh, in this instance, we sent our chef, our executive chef out here uh, a couple days in advance, also in addition to get him communicating with the executive chef out here. After we built all the BEOs, all the menus, we serve four meals a day. Just like we do at home, we serve four meals a day out here. I'm gonna go make shakes. Everyone um, just works so well, so hard, and is so on top of their game. But this, this event is just different. Bears Nigerian is in his 19th season with the team. He has been involved in coordinating the team's logistics in nine Super Bowl appearances. It was a spectacle in 2001, obviously. It's been a spectacle for decades, but it's somehow just gone through the roof in terms of just the, the overall scope of everything that, that comes with this event. When we went in 2001, we had literally a day. We weren't, you know, it wasn't like we were a favorite to be there, you know, where we were planning for weeks. It just happened. And we're heading to New Orleans as the American Football Conference champions. Every city is different. Every situation, you know, brings its own challenges. But we are fortunate that we do have experience in, in how to pull this off. And it's a credit to, to those people in the past and, and what's going on here now. Starting with Nick Carparelli in New Orleans. And then it was Chris Caminiti. And then the next year in 2004 in Jacksonville, it was Brian Smith, a 23-year-old who was literally like, he was, you know, running the trip. These just special people, Kevin Anderson, Matt Caraciolo. Michelle Martini did it twice, and just incredible job by her. And we now have a foundation um, to, to work off of because of what's happened in these previous years. They have completed the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. And a silver trophy is coming back to New England. We have a, a group in our uh, organization just that's dedicated to the operation. So, uh, you know, Bears Nigerian, Bobby Brown, Greg Mamoros, uh, Chris Mattis, as well as the trainers and, and the equipment guys and all that handling their video individual areas, but just planning, organizing all that. It's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of logistics. Uh, it's trying to keep a lot of people happy. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's really an impossible job, but they do a great job of it. Uh, final plans for the community event that's gonna happen in just a little while that we had a huge response. We have about 70 people going to that, so it's gonna be really good, a lot of families. We would definitely wanna replicate the uh, environment that we have back at Foxborough. We wanna make sure these coaches and players feel as comfortable as possible. So the more we can make it feel like home, the better on everyone. So this is the team um, and offense room. So this is where all the squad meetings happen. They'll do walkthroughs in here. We sit at for 120 um, coaches, players, and some staff. So down on this level will be our coaches' offices, offense, defense staff, head coach, uh, football operations, and our video department. Whenever you move 
from your facility to a temporary facility, that's when you know you really got to be on it. And video is very important. And video is very technical now, so we just got to make sure that everything is up and running, consistent. We're really fortunate. Um, such great support from ownership, uh, which is where it starts. It takes dozens of people to make this work as well as it does. How are you? Good, how are you? Welcome. We try to take care of all of the logistics of how do I get here, where's the closest restroom, can I bring my stroller, I, ha I forgot my clear bag, I don't know what, where something is or what's going on, so we try to take care of all those minutia so that those players and coaches can focus on what they're here for, to win that big game on Sunday. Our community relations department um, does so much to help support our families on this trip and really organize so much. Whatever we need to do is, is what we try to do on a regular basis, 24-7 from the moment they touch down here in Atlanta or whatever city we're fortunate to be in. I can speak for the support staff, the people who be behind the scenes that, that make the operation run, that it is incredibly satisfying just to know that we make a contribution. In the end, it's about the players and the coaches being able to do their jobs uh, comfortably and not have to worry about everything else that's going on. They, they need to focus on the game and that's why we're here, but there's so much else that goes along with it that they don't really, they shouldn't have to worry about. And that's our jobs to, to take care of those things. We're here to play football and our, our staff, they understand that. When I think of that staff, I think of selfless people who just do a tremendous job of just trying to make our jobs easier. And when you have people like that, um, it makes everything it makes everything better. Um, we really just appreciate them, not only us, um, but the families do as well. It would be impossible to do what our support staff does at the level that it does it without great trust and um, respect and really, you know, the relationships are strong. We're together a lot. There's a lot of strong friendships that, that, that you need to make, to make this work. It, it is a, you know, a, a mini team, um, like we see with the players and the coaches, it's absolutely the same way. The, the hours are long, the work is difficult, um, but the payoff is incredible when you get to participate in a special event like this. If you're here and things are running okay, you're making a contribution to a special place and what more can you want than that?